Have you ever looked up at the night sky expecting to see our brilliant, beautiful moon and found nothing? Just an inky blackness where our lunar companion should be? It's a strange feeling, isn't it? The moon is our constant celestial partner, a familiar face in the cosmic dark. But sometimes, it seems to vanish completely, leaving us with a sky that feels just a little bit emptier and a whole lot more mysterious. This isn't just a cloudy night. It's a special kind of astronomical event, one that has puzzled and intrigued people for centuries. It's an event that plays a game of hide-and-seek with our entire planet, and it goes by the very cool name of the Black Moon. So, what's the secret behind this disappearing act? It's not magic, it's science. And the science is truly fascinating. The moon doesn't just decide to take a night off. Its apparent vanishing is all part of its regular, predictable journey around our home planet Earth. Think of it like a cosmic dance. The Earth, the moon, and the sun. Let's break it down. All right, let's get down to it. In the simplest terms, a black moon is the second new moon to occur in a single calendar month. Now what's a new moon? That's the very first phase of the lunar cycle. It happens when the moon is positioned between the Earth and the sun. From our perspective here on Earth, the side of the moon that is lit up by the sun is facing completely away from us. The side facing us is in total shadow, making it essentially invisible in the night sky. We can't see it because the brilliant light of the sun, which is behind the moon from our point of view, completely overwhelms any faint light. Think of it this way. Imagine you're standing in a dark room and your friend is holding a basketball. If someone shines a very bright flashlight directly behind the basketball, you won't be able to see the side of the ball facing you. It will be just a dark silhouette. That's exactly what happens during a new moon. The sun is the flashlight. The moon is the basketball. We are the observers in the dark room. The moon is still there, of course, orbiting just as it always does, but its illuminated side is turned away, leaving us to look at its unlit nighttime side. While the most common definition of a black moon is the second new moon in a month science, folklore have given the name to a few other equally interesting lunar events. It's like a superhero with a few different secret identities. One of these other types is a seasonal black moon. Our year is divided into four astronomical seasons. Spring, summer, fall, winter. Each season usually has three new moons, but sometimes the calendar and lunar cycles align so a season can end up with four new moons. When that happens, the third new moon of that four new moon season is called a seasonal black moon. Another type of black moon happens when a calendar month has no new moon at all. The lunar cycle is about 29 and a half days long. February has only 28 days in a common year, 29 in a leap year, so it can sometimes have no new moon inside its boundaries. That can leave February completely without a new moon. And when that happens, January and March will each have two new moons. So, just how rare are these celestial events? Let's look at the numbers. Science is all about measurement. The most common type of black moon, the second new moon in a single calendar month, happens about once every 29 months. So, roughly every two and a half years. This rarity comes from a mismatch. The 29 and a half day lunar cycle versus our 30 and 31 day months. Those extra half days and full days slowly add up until a second new moon can fit in a month. Other black moon types are even rarer. The seasonal black moon, the third new moon in a season that has four, happens about once every 33 months. Now, the rarest, a month with no new moon. That can only be February, the only month shorter than the lunar cycle. A February with no new moon happens about once every 19 years. You might see this only four or five times in a lifetime. Years with this phenomenon are special for sky watchers and astronomers. But why all the fuss? It's just a dark night, right? Well, humans have always been fascinated by the moon. For thousands of years before city lights washed out the night sky, the moon was humanity's nightlight. It dictated when to hunt, when to plant, when to harvest. Its cycles were our first calendars. So, when something unusual happened with the moon, like it disappearing for a black moon, people paid close attention. These events were often seen as powerful omens or signs from the heavens. In modern times, this fascination continues, sometimes as introspection and new beginnings. The new moon phase is often associated with starting fresh. 
A black moon, being an extra new moon, is seen by some as an even more potent time for setting intentions, starting new projects, making changes in their lives. For scientists and amateur astronomers, the interest is different. While a black moon isn't visually spectacular, it's a great opportunity for stargazing. Without the moon's glow, even faint stars appear much brighter and more numerous. Pull out a telescope or a pair of binoculars to look for faint star clusters, distant galaxies, or colorful nebulae. It turns the absence of one celestial object into an opportunity to see countless others more clearly. Ultimately, our interest in the black moon is a beautiful blend of science, culture, and personal meaning. The moon is so much more than just a rock in the sky. It's a source of endless facts and folklore. Did you know that the moon is slowly drifting away from Earth? Every year it moves about 3.8 centimeters, or about one and a half inches, farther away from us. That's about the same speed that your fingernails grow. This is happening because of tidal interactions between the Earth and the moon. It's a very slow process. The moon won't be leaving us anytime soon. It's another part of the slow, cosmic dance of our solar system. Another cool term you might hear is supermoon. This happens when a full moon coincides with the moon's closest point to Earth, making it appear slightly larger. The opposite is a micromoon. When the full moon is at apogee, it looks a bit smaller. These aren't strict astronomical terms, but they're popular ways to describe awesome sights. Of course, we can't talk about the moon without mentioning a blue moon, most commonly the second full moon in a single calendar month. Like a black moon, a blue moon is a calendrical quirk. Black moon is about the second invisible new moon, blue moon about the second visible full moon. Throughout history, different cultures gave names to monthly full moons, wolf moon, strawberry moon, harvest moon. These names connected people to seasons and helped guide agricultural life. They remind us how the moon shaped human lives across cultures. So, as we bring our cosmic journey to a close, what have we discovered? We've learned that a black moon isn't a spooky or magical event, but a natural, fascinating outcome of how our calendar interacts with the moon's orbit. It's most often the second new moon in a calendar month, a rare alignment that happens only once every couple of years. It's a moment of profound darkness in the sky, not because the moon is gone, but because its sunlit side faces away from us. The term can also mean the third new moon in a season of four, or the even rarer February with no new moon at all. Each definition highlights the quirky relationship between human timekeeping and celestial mechanics. These rare moments break the usual pattern. They invite us to stop and look up. It sparks curiosity and connects us to a long history of sky watching. For some, it's spiritual. For others, a prime scientific chance. It bridges culture and science. The darkness of the black moon actually illuminates our curiosity. The universe is full of amazing patterns and cycles. Next time the calendar points to a black moon, you'll know what's happening up there. Final thought. What other hidden patterns are waiting to be discovered right above our heads or right under our feet? Consider all the possibilities.